Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to discuss about radio button control in CSO.NET Windows application. So, I'm going to go to toolbox here after search radio button. So, I'm going to this is the icon and about the radio button. So, enable the user to select a single option from a group of chats. So, let's see one example of for radio button. So, at here, I'm going to drag at here for radio button. So if you select a radio button at here, so you get to a different property check align check and here this is check property so you can give at here uh, by default to so that is so uh, unchecked so if you give at here check so radio button selected check at here now next is so here you can change the fall color of a radio button so add here i'm going to select this one highlight so it's a ready button it's a change text to change to highlight and here from here you can change the text name so according to requirement you can use and here you can change the name also so if you want then here you can lock the ready button and if you lock at here you can't move this ready button anywhere in the form so here this uh, radio button it's uh, unlocked so that you can move now here after let's uh, click click on radio button one and here i'm going to use back color so back color equal to falling color class dot to so at here I am going to use yellow. So this is the code inside the radio button 1. And here back color equal to color dot. So here I am going to use pink. Now here. So back color equal to color dot so at here this time going to use state and here back color equal to color dot so at here I'm going to use green So let's execute the code. So ready button selected at here. So if you select this one or ready button or two, so here the color get changed. So this is the pink now. Here this is for yellow because uh, and here I say color yellow and here if you press ready button 3 so this is for red and here ready button 4 is for green so this is a group of collection so in collection you can select only one so let's see one more example of a radio button so at here I am going to take one global variable giving the name call and here in this place so here this is here call equal to giving rate and here for ready button here giving call equal to here this is for grey. 
and here call equal to so and here giving blue so here call equal to yellow Now here after let's go to form design and here I'm going to drag one button control. So let's uh, double click on button control. So and here if call double equal to read. So if this condition is true, then going to change the background color. So back color equal to color dot red so red should be display now let's copy this line and here after if call equal to green so here i'm going to display color dot green And if call equal to or blue, so that to display color dot blue. And here, if call equal to yellow, Y E double arrow, so and here color dot yellow should be display so this is the code inside button one control now let's go and execute the code so add here let's click on button one so one thing i'm going to do at here selecting this option and check i'm going to do uncheck now let's execute one more time. Now going to select the radio button one, and if you click on button one, so here uh, it's so display red color because this condition here button one. So this condition is matched so that here back or uh, color equal to color dot red. So end red. So here, this is for button 1. And if you select to for radio button 2, so click, then that change here. So if you select radio button 3, so this is for blue, here, this is for yellow. So right here, radio button is if you have a multiple radio button, so you can select only one option. So this is what radio button in CSO.net Windows application. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So if you have any doubt related to this video, leave a comment. Definitely I will reply. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next.